talk about the four foundational principles of wealth in this year's series, doing a year-long series on this because planet Earth has not been training you and I about money. So I had to learn the hard way, so I'm going to teach you what I learned. I'm going to give you $50 million lessons about the, about the four foundations of wealth. Throw me the Instagram phone first. Four foundations. Now, you can argue which of the four foundations are like the priority order. But let's forget that for a second. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Four foundational principles. Now, let's just do a quick giveaway just because I want to know the financial literacy. Every time I go live, it's like a different group of people. That's the thing about going live. So uh, let's see how it looks right now. What do you think number one should be? Somebody put health, wealth, love, happiness. Somebody wrote the number four. <laughs> no, I'm saying, what do you think I should put in here? Not, I can read the numbers. I'm, $100 to somebody who gives me what I think. And these are the new rules of wealth. New rules, new foundations. This is not from 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Somebody said mindset. Yes or no? Thumbs up or th thumbs down? It's not a bad answer. It's not the one I was looking for. Investing, health, no. Health is a separate category. Health is a se self-investment. No, you guys are confusing. The four foundations of wealth, not the four foundations of the good life. Passive income, it's too broad. Online, getting warmer. NG churning, you're getting warmer. Warmer. Job, you're getting colder, much colder. Jobs don't create wealth very often. Sam J. Comedy. Is that Sam who works for us? Yeah. Sam, you can't enter these. <laughs> Marketing. Somebody wrote system. Ah, Bronx Tale 110. Bronx Tale on Instagram. I'm sending you, we'll DM you for your cash app, 100 bucks. Social media. Why do I say that? People are going to argue with me on this, but... The two youngest billionaires in history, both came from social media. The founder of Snapchat, the, and Kylie Jenner, with her makeup brand that's in one year got bigger than what Maybelline and Revlon took 30 years to do or 50 years to do. Uh, the youngest big billionaire right now is uh, Mark Zuckerberg. He's over 60 billion. And so even you take someone like Elon Musk, even you take the president of the United States, you know why President Trump won? A lot of people love him. A lot of people hate him. But one thing Republicans and Democrats can't argue about, he used social media better than Hillary Clinton, his opponent. I'm not saying he should be president or shouldn't. I'm just saying social media is at the heart of everything, and it's only beginning, my friend. It's only beginning. So are you a master of understanding how social media relates to your bank account? The answer for most people is no. So marketing is not exactly the correct answer. I would say social media specifically. What's number two? Yeah, and I like to do, I literally do these full, I, I do them in separate windows. Can you make the comments be there? I, I don't like, just have three separate open full gotcha. windows, not okay. no tabs. Okay. Ferrari said, this guy's dim, bro. But he meant to spell dumb but he misspelled dumb. <laughs> I gotta look at this guy. Underscore Ferrari. Every time somebody criticizes you, you wanna know if you should listen to them because sometimes your critics are worth listening to. I have my doubts about this guy. Definitely if you're gonna call someone dumb, you probably wanna spell dumb right. Just a slight <laughs> little, little thing. Here we go. <clears throat> All 
All right. Taylor Ferrari, I got one piece of advice for you. You should listen to what I'm about to say because you definitely don't know anything about this. So number two, what's the second foundational principle of wealth? Somebody wrote electronium. Somebody said dim means dumb. He didn't write dim. He wrote D-I-M-B. So Trayvon McDaniel, you're dimmed. <laughs> you're dimmed. Branding, content, marketing, uh, uh, real estate. Somebody wrote electronium. Do you agree with that, Alex? My finger is going <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a better way. Somehow, uh, uh, Adrian, so the way to do it, there's a way to do it that it shows half video and comments on YouTube on the side. Okay. Charity, socks, good social skills, automation, no, getting cold. Ah, J.K. McCowan, another $100. J.K. McCowan, e-com. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What happens in life is basically to increase your income, you have you right here. Now, in economics, if you study economics, you've got a lot of people over here. In fact, you have 7 billion of them over here. 7 point, I think, 5 plus billion over here. So the way you make more money, here's your bank account right here, little piggy bank. The way this thing goes up, it doesn't go up from within. It goes up for these people being willing to send you a little piece of their money that they worked hard for. So social media is the process in the modern world of connecting with all these 7.5 billion people. I connected with, I was just looking at my YouTube stats. I connected with roughly uh, 200 million people last year. I'll show you my stats. It's hard to know exactly because YouTube doesn't show you unique views, right? But they show you, I use my watch time so we're at here 1.87 billion minutes on my, that's just my YouTube. So if you do the math, the average person watches 10 minutes, right? Then you would divide 1.8 billion by a 10th. That'd be 180 million unique people. So I've been able to use social media to connect with all these people, but is it enough to just have <coughs> a big social media following? No, you got to know the e-com side of things, which is how to pull, uh, is how, people can pay you for being connected to you. Look at Victoria's Secret. You seen Victoria's Secret's numbers? This is a problem for them. Victoria's Secret, look in the news today. Um, news, Victoria's Secret to close 53 more stores. 53 more stores. What's going on here? Well, Bad Christmas means it's Gap, Victoria's Secret, and Tesla have, oh, sorry, here, 4,300 stores closed because it's all about e-com, dum-dums, dims, dims. What did that guy call me? Taylor, Ferrari. You know who's dim? Victoria's Secret and the Gap. Who the hell goes to the Gap? I didn't even know the Gap still existed. Apparently the gap's still around. I'm out of touch. Because when I want something, I just buy it online. And more and more people are buying online. There'll always be some stores, but nah. They're not gonna subtract, they're not gonna last very long. Dim dims. <laughs> so what's number three? Foundation. So you have to know how to connect people with people. Then this is happening online and through social media. Then you know how to get them to send money this direction. You connect that way. They send money back that way. This is, you should be teaching this in school. <laughs> Somebody says, is there a store called Victoria's Gap? <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's the process of social media connection, e-com, revenue, income, money. Now, what's the third step? Okay, what's third? In the foundation of wealth, who here wants to increase What's in their bank account? I'm telling you the formula that your mommy and your daddy and no school you've ever been to and no university has told you. And that's why 
all the MBAs and all the geniuses that are running these companies, because make no mistake, these are high-powered Ivy League. They're backed by McKinsey and all these genius companies. Guess what? Boom. Money disappearing as we speak. So pay attention to what I'm saying right now because this stuff matters right now. Now, what's the third thing that goes on here? The third thing that goes on is what? Ta-da. You got to know where to take the profit from here because once you start doing this, I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it in other people's lives. I remember a time in my life where all of a sudden I was netting $60,000 a day. A day. The average person in America makes $50,000 a year. I was netting 60 plus a day, and I was going, what do I do now with all the money? Because you're going to pay a lot of taxes. You're going to lose it to stupid ideas if you don't know what you're doing. And I went, you know what? Easy. Or not easy. I need a place now to put the money. Where do I put the money? Where do I reinvest the profits? That's quadrant number three. What's the best place in general to reinvest? Now, you want to reinvest some of what you make back into what's working, but you don't want to put it all in there. You don't want all your eggs in one basket. Where's the best place? Let's go to, I don't know, YouTube, Facebook. We got 100 bucks. First person to say, what's the best place to put it? Facebook. Let me look. Somebody said invest in yourself. Kayla Von Staden. I'm going to pin your comment. Kayla Von Staden said real estate. What's made the most millionaires in history? Uh, in the United States, at least. Not billionaires. Billionaires are happening here. Quadrant one or two are your active income sources. This is your semi-passive, not fully passive usually. So real estate, property, that's number three. Now, question, this one's a harder one. Quadrant number four is the harder one, people. Quadrant number four is, but how do you actually do all this? Doesn't it take money to make, yeah, Ty, well, you say just go on social media or to e-com and that's gonna make you money. Oh, just go do real estate. Yeah, but I don't have any money. What is the saying? It takes blank to make blank. Who knows that? It takes money to make money. The rich get richer because they got the money to start. They have the seed capital to start. It takes money to make money. So my question to you is, what do you do when you don't have anything to start? What's the answer to that? 100 bucks. And we'll look around here. Let's go on Twitter. I've been neglecting my Twitter live. What do we got? Somebody wrote investors. Nope. Somebody wrote social comment, commerce. Some, somebody said it's a diff. Technology, people, invest in talent. Nope. All right, Twitter. Trapping, somebody wrote. <laughs> Reinvest, determination. Find investor, use other people's money. Kidnapping. That's warmer. Kidnapping. Somebody said kidnapping? No. Oh, Zach said kidnapping. Use other polls money. You mean people? Credit loan, getting warmer. Almost good enough to win, but what do you have to do? Julio Aguilar on YouTube said it. Credit. The first one I saw. Other people said it, but I'm Julio, reply with your cash app. I'm going to send you 100 bucks. How much have we given away? That's 400. We still got 600 to give away. Is YouTube glitching a little bit? No? It's like glitching on my screen. Do what you're passionate about. What if you're passionate about nothing? Or what if you're passionate about, I don't know. Yeah, YouTube is crashing a lot. That's weird. Well, Unsecured line of credit. Basically, you have to finance, you have to, one methodology, fix your credit, repair your credit, boost it so that you can get 
some act an actual credit and you can spend five bucks on your first Facebook ad to drive traffic to an offer that people buy. That's like, seriously, these four foundational things are just like the name of the game and nobody knows how to do it. So I want to go through, I'm doing, by the way, I'm going to mention this now before I forget. Uh, I'm opening up, it's almost springtime. Most people have been procrastinating on their New Year's resolutions. Any of you make a New Year's resolution you haven't done yet, haven't finished up yet, you gave up on? A lot of people gave them to get more income, diversify their income, another stream of income. And uh, so I'm going to open up for a spring special because spring is right here. Winter is done. Winter is not coming. This is not Game of Thrones. Winter is leaving. It's springtime. And so I'm going to open up my four top mentor programs, which cover social media marketing, build, building an e-com product, real estate investing, and credit mentor, all four of these. And I'm going to knock for the next uh, five days. Uh, or is it five days or six? I don't know. There's a, I'll put a link below. We're going to do a spring special and um, you save $2,200, I think. I'm going to put them at 80% off, those four programs. You can bundle them together, or you can just buy them separate. Um, so, yeah. And I'm actually, I'm going to do a special, I want to do something special just for the people that get in today. I'm going to actually make sure you also get a copy of these notes. You might have come in late, so that's kind of just a small little bonus. I'll put the link. The link is in the, what is the link, Ben? The link should be in the, we're going to pin it here, or you can just go here. And then I want to do some more advanced training, tylopez.com, spring for the spring sale, live, since you're on a live call. That's going to get you four top, my four top mentor programs, all bundled together, or you can buy a separate, and you're going to save $2,200. It's crazy. And that's real savings. That's not like I didn't raise the price and then go, oh, you saved that much. Ty, can you extend it any longer? Uh, no, because I can't extend it forever. Ty, can you talk about private labeling products? Okay, let's pick a specific thing. Quadrant number two. This, by the way, is a four-month training program. So let me and my business partners, me and my affiliates and friends will train you uh, over the next four months everything they didn't teach you in school on these four subjects okay let's talk about e-com somebody asked a good question Ty did you talk about private labeling so my friend was here he has one of the biggest private labeling companies around skin care hair care he's got um, supplements and he'll do basically private labeling and he'll actually do it on demand meaning you don't even have to spend money up front to buy inventory it's pretty cool right like if you sell five bottles if you want to come up with your own skincare line he'll do it for you on a bottle by bottle basis in the past you had to buy ten thousand you know, bottles of something to, to get like a minimum order. Now you can do it with one. So here, here's an example. Let's go here. Here's how you catch a trend in e-com. You can look at Amazon. You go to Amazon. You go, okay, what do we, what's trending right here? You can see, you can look at today's deals. All right, what's trending? We got crabgrass and grassy weeds because spring is coming, Grand Theft Auto. Coconut oil. You know what? I love this coconut oil thing. Even though I wouldn't, I, I, if I was starting out, I might do this as a brand. Look at this right here. 14,461 customer reviews. You know how many sales they must have gotten if they got 14,461 reviews? Let's see down here what their Amazon bestseller ranking is. They're number five. Wow. They're number five in grocery and gourmet food. They're number one in coconut oil, but look at that, number five. That's a crazy, I mean, these guys are moving bottles. 
And look, they, I bet you they don't even know how to do social media. This is the thing right now. People right here that only know one of these quadrants are making a ton of money. Imagine what would happen if you know four. Really. Imagine if you know four things. They don't know social media. Let's look, let's look them up. The name of the brand is Viva Naturals. Do they know what they're doing on social media? Okay, let's just go to their social media. Let's go to their website. Boom. And people might say, oh, they don't need social media. Uh, that's, what, that's what a lot of people said that no longer exists. Be careful when you say you don't need something. Social media is a trend. Be careful when you say you're above the trends. They don't even have a link to their social media, do they? About us? Jeez. They're making all these sales. I could train one of you to, <laughs> to know more than them. When it comes to Instagram, I could train you in less than four months. Here we go. Let's see. 7,600 followers. Horrible Instagram. I can tell you this right now. 180 likes on their last picture. And they're a major brand. And they don't know what they're doing because the, you should post people's faces. The only face they have there is half covered face. Here they have the back of the heads. Here they have the back of the heads. Oh my gosh. This is the first rule I teach people in business when it comes to social media. Don't post back of the heads. It doesn't work. This company knows nothing. If I was like at this point in my life, I'm looking to go after nine and 10 figure businesses, things that can do 100 million to a billion. Viva Naturals is not that. But for you guys that are just starting out or even an intermediate level entrepreneur, I'm not saying I'm the most advanced. I'm just saying I've already built businesses like this. Um, this is a ripe target to go after because if you can build name brand recognition and you see right here that the volume of sales, even if they're selling it for what? 10 bucks. Notice it defaults to subscriptions. So they're getting people, half the people don't even realize they, I bet you half the people who, who buy this don't know. Like my grandma, when she buys on Amazon, she can't even read that small a font. My mom. So half the people are on auto subscribe. They might have 10,000 people on 20,000. They might have 50,000 people paying them 10 bucks a month. That's 500 grand on autopilot. Let's say the margins aren't that good, 20% or something. They're making two, three bucks. Still, that's $100,000 a month on recurring, and they probably have more than one product. You see? If I could just train, I've trained in my paid programs 285,000 people in my paid programs, over 150 million people have gone through my free training. Way, actually way more than that. It's a ridiculous number. Um, like, like, it is a ridiculous number. How many of you, I, I can tell you what works. This is a wide open target. Who's gonna do it? Raise your hand. Who thinks they can do a product like this? By the way, my friend, he doesn't do coconut oil, but if you had a skincare product, he could start you out on this that you only have to manufacture a bottle when you needed it. So you wouldn't even have to prepay. It's crazy, crazy. Who's getting in this new spring test group? Let me read the names of some people who just got in. I, got my, I built my own app for all my different companies here. We use Stripe for some, but not many. Here we go. Donrell Johnson in Odenton, Maryland. Welcome to the group, my friend. Where are you? Where is Odenton? Do you know where that is? Rick, where is Odenton? <laughs> I'll be reading off the name of people. Ty, is it best to learn? Oh, Ty's the best to learn from him, my friends. Northeast of DC. Northeast of DC. What's the fee? Okay. So the way we have the fee, for those of you who want to get in, you can get all of it for $4.97, or you can get the individual ones for one-time cost of $97. So you could get one, two, three, or four. You could just get the credit mentor. Credit mentor is an insane. For $97, bucks, it's, that's why I'm not going to do it forever. I did this for Black Friday last year, but I want to open it back up. Um, and we have pay, do we have payment plans set up too, Ben? Yeah, so yeah, this is the payment plan. You can get individual. One time payment is not recurring. You could, like I said, you know, you could go to college. 
Wharton's MBA program is uh, 80,000 a year. Harvard's online program, MBA, $60,000. It's online, by the way. You gotta do it at home. <laughs> That's a lot. People, people are like, Ty, your stuff expensive. I'm like, Harvard's online, $60,000. Yes, you do get a degree from Harvard, but do you think all the Harvard degrees are protecting Victoria's Secret right now? You think they protected Sears? You think they're protecting the Gap? 4,300 stores closing? Even Tesla's closing. Not all their stores, but some. Carell says, that's insane, bro, I'm getting in. What's the original price? So these originally are 2,200 bucks. You can wait till after this. People buy them every day, by the way, at the full price. So, by the way, some people say, Tom, I'm just gonna go learn this for free. Okay, let's just put in, I, I haven't even looked at this. Let's go to YouTube. Let's just put in, let me first go to YouTube. Let's just go and let's search um, social media marketing. By the way, I know about teaching social media marketing. I actually own the tra trademark. Damn it, hold on. So right here, social media marketing agency. Billy Wilson, <laughs> let me put in SMMA, hold on. People don't know that, well, people do know, but they try to pretend they don't know. Social media marketing agency training where you can get paid to do other businesses. Um, I own this trademark. Technically, all these people owe me money, except myself, because I'm right there. But, let's see. Should I write them a letter? Be like, you're in violation of my trademark. No, uh, <laughs> I won't do that. I'm, I'm, I don't do it for that reason, unless somebody goes crazy. Oh, here's somebody. I've never even seen him. I made 997 in 10 days learning for your ties over the mobile social media marketing agency. What is the best SMMA course? These are fascinating. I'm glad to be looking here. But all I can say about this is you may want to learn from me just because I actually own the trademark because I've trained the most people of anybody in the world on this subject. That's why they give you the trademark. They only give you the trademark if you pretty much control it. So if there's anybody else out there and me and my business partner Alex teach in there and we've spent, we've made a billion dollars in our businesses using social media marketing for our own businesses. That's our qualification. I was on Logan Paul's show, Impulsive, and one of the guys asked me, what's your qualifications? I said, numbers, baby. What else? What else would your qualifications be? Piece of paper? Ty, can I hang out for you today? Internet 3.0. See, there's where YouTube glitches. Any suggestion on what would be the first one to start with? So I've got these four programs because you really need all four of them. That's why I put this together. That is literally why I put this four together. Look at these opportunities left and right. It's mind blowing. Lot mind blowing that more people aren't getting into this. Here we go. Paul Frank just got in from Nitra, Slovakia. He's on YouTube. Oh, Paul Franek, sorry. On YouTube Live right now. Welcome to the group, my friend. Indy Ra DeJarnet. Jeffrey Guarin just got in the credit mentor program. Okay. Let me talk. I just want to kind of announce this and get you going on this. Who has some questions? Where does Amazon come in? We've got a separate Amazon program, but we will be in the e-com program. We talk about all these principles. Hey, Ben, I'm going to send you something. Ben? Did Ben go? Ty, can you talk about real estate? Damn, YouTube is lagging so hard. Mave 20, yeah, something's wrong with YouTube. View on drop shipping, Bronx Tale. Oh, you're the one who won. Here's the thing, Bronx Tale. Uh, is, the thing about drop shipping is it's not a long-term solution for many reasons. You wanna build a brand. See, Viva has a brand here. I don't know who, they don't even have a good social media brand, but they got a good brand on Amazon. 
but this, this will be challenged. One of you will figure out how to challenge this. I'm speaking it into existence. Law of attraction, if you believe in that sort of thing. Drop shipping takes too long to ship. You can use drop shipping. Okay? Ty, you're the best. Hash game changer. Thank you. Can't you build a brand off drop shipping? Yes, but at some point, you're not going to want to build your whole brand around drop shipping because you don't control everything vertically, vertically integrated up. You don't, things can take too long to be shipped and so on. So, drone shipping, book a day. What do you think about, all right, who has a website? Let me go into some training that I want to do. Who has a website you want me to analyze? What is this one? I hope I'm not going to regret going here. Eight oh two reptile dot com. I don't know if this is a real website. Okay, here we go. Tired of boring birthday parties. We bring cobras to your children. No matter what, you'll never say it was boring. All right, let's look at this website. Eight oh two reptiles. What do I like about it? Thirty two parties since the last incident. 32 parties since the last incident. We've had safe parties for the last seven parties. Um, what do I like about it? I mean, the pictures get to the point. That's kind of good. Tired of boring parties, throw a reptile party. Is there any way to expand out from like, is it good to only do reptiles? I mean, like, what about like alpacas or something? I don't know. That's, this is not my area. I think one issue is this is too small of a button. You don't want to have this this big and your call to action microscopic. That's too microscopic. Let's see what your social media, you link to your Instagram. Okay, you only have 70 followers. We got to get this up, my friend. You need to know how to do some giveaways. You need to do some collabs with other people in your industry or other people that reach your target market. You, you don't want to even link to this right now. I would take this link off because it makes you look bad. You know, I really think you need a video here. This is good, but on a mobile phone, it doesn't look as good. So you need a video because I promise you this, before anybody lets you bring a big snake uh, to their birthday party of their small children, <laughs> they're going to want to hear a little explanation. Just take it from me. It's going to be like, a bunch of two-year-olds and a python. What could go wrong? Where's Jimmy? Uh, is Jimmy at home? I mean, is J Jimmy in the bathroom? No. He his shoes are right here. <laughs> his, his hat is right here. Um, somebody said, Ty, we had snakes at our party. Okay, good. I didn't say. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying you need a video. You need your Instagram to be popping. You could definitely pop your Instagram with snakes. I mean, man. That's, that's, if, you, if ever anything could be sold... It's snakes and children, like in one room. That that's a reality show waiting to happen, my friend. Who else has one? Who else got a a website that they need analyzed? If you're ever in Germany, I'll take a day off just to show you around the Rhine River. I love Germany. Does anyone hear Blake muffled screaming at the at the reptile party? What's that sound? Um. Today is my birthday, Ty. Can I have some gifts? David, 16, 202 Reptiles is going to host your birthday. Okay, rainbowsend.co.nz. Rainbowsend. I mean, I don't love this name. I never like names that I like. What is Rainbow Send? But that's fine. It's a brand. Oh, Rainbow's End. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a problem with names like that. I don't I don't know that I would pop this pop up because unless this is just for returning people. I guess a lot of people in New Zealand must know what this is. But I don't I don't know if I would do that pop up, but maybe it works for you. So I'm assuming this is some kind of a teenage park. Let's see. If you, I got good news. If this website's making you money now, if you optimize this, it's gonna make you a lot more. Now let's see here how many views you have. You got 6,000 views.
Okay, here's the first thing. You gotta go longer form. I don't know why people love short videos. Short videos rarely beat long videos. They do sometimes, but they rarely do. All in all, when I test it, it rarely works better than long ones, okay? So, yeah. Ty, can you please fix YouTube's connection? Yes. Let me call down real quick and be like, uh, Sergey. I'm, I'm talking to the owners of YouTube real quick. Hold on. Of Google. You what? You're on your jet? Where? You're in San Tropez? Can't you hear me? What? You got models and bottles? <laughs> You're with Al Pacino's car face on a mountain of cocaine? And you can't do it right now? Okay, he says he's busy right now. So, uh, damn, I, I, I started to fix it, it just didn't work. Someone said, Ty, most people don't like watching long videos. Yeah, but the people who do like are the ones who buy. <laughs> That's what you, people don't have, understand game theory. The people who do watch, buy. Someone said, oh my God, Ty, you must be high. <laughs> Create TyTube. It's called YouTube. I'm all over it. Uh, SlothExpress.com. What is this, Animal Day? Sloth Express. Wait, am I like stepping on something? There's a ghost typing here. Look at that. What button? Oh, there. What button stuck? Look at that. We got a ghost in the building. It's because I said that about the Google guys. Call again. Uh, Sergey, <laughs> sorry to bother you again. What? What's that screaming? <laughs> uh, you got a ghost I think it's a little on Google. Okay, all right. Thank you. He, see, he fixed this one for me. He told me it's good. Um, what was this sloth? Express, please tell me this is like what I think it is. Like it's actual, like a sloth thing. Oh, what is this? YouTube's back up. It keeps, okay, we've got luxury magnetic wristwatch. This is probably a drop shipper site. See, this is okay. I mean, you might be making money if you're driving to like an individual offer here, but you're not building like a brand brand. So I don't know, I mean, these can work, but they don't work forever. So somebody wrote knowledgeable. I think you meant to wrote knowledge, but he gave the full version of it, Alex. Knowledgeable. All right, here we go. Credit mentor program, Sarah Galicia just got in. Karthik Selvarge in Chennai, India just got in SMMA. Cool, so we got four different programs you can get in. Uh, what is the best online business to get into? Best online business is to start with an agency and then develop your own products. And then after you develop your own products, then develop, then you start investing in real estate. Then once you got real estate, then you can start, um, then you can do whatever you want. That's kind of the, then you can be like the Google guy. San Tropez, how's the south of France these days? <laughs> I like that tax making the noise of them. How do I start Airbnb rentals? I have a program for that. Um, Somebody said, you're a very smart and motivated man, but you should never wear brown after New Year's. Well, that doesn't make sense because every day is after some New Year's. So like December 30th is after the New Year's from the year before. So that just means never wear brown is what you should say. So what do you think you should charge car dealerships for ad spend versus profit? Good question. For those of you who, are in the agent, who get in the social media marketing agency program, you got a couple options. So you walk into a car dealership. You got the big boss here. 
he's suspicious of you. Why should he give you money? You analyze his website. You analyze his funnel, just like I was doing them. You show what's wrong, what's wrong, and you say, you can fix it yourself, or I have a service to do it. Then once you talk about the website, then you got to say, and I can send you new customers, because that's ultimately what they want. And then, how do you convince them and how do you charge them? So let's say this, this is the car salesman here, or he owns a car dealership. And this is you, you've got your agency, all you need is an iPhone or a laptop or Android, and all of a sudden you talk to him and you say, all right, I, my minimum fee if I'm gonna be doing ad spend is 2,500 bucks a month. You can say a thousand of that is my fee for my work on analytics. You can charge setup fees too if you want, but I'm just, you were asking me in my opinion. So now that's fifteen hundred dollars that remains to do on Facebook ads for them, and generally you're going to take a percentage. I've seen people take as low as ten percent, and you know, other people do fifty percent. I would say somewhere in the middle. It's kind of like you're kind of like an agent for people, like a sports agent, you know? And if you take too much, then someone's going to find somebody else to represent them. If you take too little, you're going to hate your life. So I would look, if you're adding other things to what you do, so you're not just providing marketing, but you're providing other things, let's say you split the difference, you charge between 10 and 25%. And the more they spend with you, you'll give them a volume discount. So you just, one person spending $10,000 a month on marketing, which is nothing if you know how to do it, you, you're getting $1,000 a month just to be there and manage their account, plus you're getting, let's say, 10% of 10,000. So your one customer is netting you $2,000 a month. You get four car dealerships or four doctor's offices and you're making $8,000. You know, so I want to join the program, but I'm broke. That's the thing. If some of you guys know how to use credit correctly, you'd be able to. You should never be so broke that you don't have a hundred bucks sitting around to invest in yourself. Seriously. Do you invest in stocks? Not that much because you can't control stock market. Some people love it. I used to work in that industry, but I don't love it. So I want to come to your place to close on a deal for a SaaS company. Ty, they won't pay as much once they know I'm working from India. Well, you need a business partner in the U.S. Then you can have a U.S. office and an offshore office. That's what everybody from India should do. Ty, what are your thoughts on doing e-commerce or entrepreneurship degree in university after school? Well, how about during school? You know, Ty, I'm enrolled in plenty of e-com mentoring programs from Instagram and in school full-time for software dev, I'm already starting to get results, I'm good. And you're gonna start my SMMA, good. Create a PayPal account in hope of winning some money from my thing. Should you hit up local restaurants? Yes. Hit up the local restaurants that have money, that have a big store, a big, you know, a lot of square footage, and not enough customers. That's, yes, restaurants are great customers, great. Mark Pl Markel Pleasant, welcome to the group. You're an SMMA. Oh, you're already in. Oh. Chicago, Lee, Texas, Beggs, Oklahoma, New York, New York, Chennai, India, Prague, Vlano, Mesto, Praha, Czech, Southfield, Michigan, Olympia, Washington, Akron, Ohio, Nitra, Nitra, Slovakia. Covina, California, Odenton, Maryland, Fremont, Nebraska, Norwalk, Connecticut, LA, California, Helsinki, Finland. It's crazy how many people getting these programs from everywhere. Uh, Wyatt Babiak in Salt Lake City. David Ibakwe from Lagos, Nigeria. Cool. We did the math. There's people in 190 countries have gotten in my programs. It's wild. There's only like, how many countries are there in the world? 100 bucks to the first person who knows the answer. Countries in world. I think it's 198. <laughs> who said it? 
I see, damn, I see three different things. This says 195, one says 197. Who has the correct answer? What? Let's see. You to uh, Wikipedia. I love Wikipedia doesn't even say it. They make you count them all. I think it's 195 or 98. Why don't they list it? Uh, maybe it changes with islands. This says countries of Africa 562. All right, forget this website. Are there 197 countries? Okay. Today there are 197 countries. Who said it? There we go. Matt Giddy with two I's. M-A-T-T-G-I-T-I-I. -T -T -I -I. Matt Giddy on YouTube. I need your cash app, Mike, Matt, Gitty. I need your cash app, my friend, your email, or your PayPal. So today there are 197, it depends. Oh, I'm not even gonna get into this. You've got Palestine, Holy See of Vatican, two UN, Taiwan, Kosovo, I don't know. Ty, when are you coming to Holland? Wolfram Alpha says there's 206 countries. Interesting. Ty, I joined your e-com agency. Ty, I need your Snapchat. It's just my name. More website evaluation. Who else needs this? Website evaluation. Chillcollective.myshopify.com. You need to get your own domain. You don't want to use a subdomain like that. That is painful to type in. Chill Collective, is this a clothing line? Women's, you forgot somebody's face. Please allow people's face to be in here. You, again, you chopped off their head. Entrepreneurs are obsessed with chopped heads. There, you kinda have a head. Take pictures of your friends. You don't always have to use models like this, you know? Let's shop now. This is a, are you making any money on this? I, I, these are okay. Right here, these kind of these are drop shipping beginning websites. You could you can test. You're not going to build a big business this way, but you can get started this way. So that's fine. Foldingbiking.com. Folding biking. Mm -hmm. Okay, folding biking. Ooh. Okay, this is a very old kind of way of doing, this is like an old timey, this is like a WordPress or something. This site is owned and operated by Les Walter International. Les Walter International participant in the Amazon Services LLC program, affiliate advertising, how to fold your Brompton bike. I mean, I would make, I like this, step one, open the bike up. Why, why I wouldn't put the video at the bottom. I would put, I would make this a video based site. Yeah, Les Waller here with foldingbiking.com. He folded an unfolded bike for I don't know much about this market. There, I would make it as a video based site. That's all I'm going to say. And I would have video right here on the homepage. So. The old GeoCities, but it's straight away cutting edge curves. Need a refresh on the website, somebody said. Rolex.com, okay. Rolly, rolly, let's see. Who here would get a Rolex? Rolex. Hmm. You're welcome. I like this. Here's something Rolex is doing well. It's all faces. They're doing it really well. Um, it's not just holding the watch out, it's showing things you recognize and then finally, it's, this is a pretty good website. I usually hate people's websites. The only thing I would say that's wrong 
but I, I think they're doing it on purpose. So they're trying to drive you to a store. They don't want you to buy online. So it has discover more. I do think that this should be more video based, not just animation like this. That's my opinion because people want to just sit down and watch. No pun intended. They want to watch a video. I'd make the store, I bet you the store locator is a massive part of this. I think people go primarily, they go to Rolex because they're ready to buy a watch or they want to figure out which watch they saw somebody wearing. There's a Rolex place. There was a Rolex place in Century City. People took a machine gun and started shooting not too long ago. So you got several businesses. How do you dedicate a lot of time to info products? Mentor box, blah, blah, blah. Does that mean info products is still one of the best business models? For sure, digital stuff's good. To have you used Cargo Collective to build a site? Nope. What will happen if the world of all the stores disappear? Then no more in shopping. It won't happen. It'll be a check and balance. It'll balance out. Right now there's too many stores. It's gonna balance back around. Mark my words. So, um, I'm gonna run, I gotta go in a second. Of eight minutes left? I still gotta give away how much money? $500. Ty, is your real estate program good for Canada? Absolutely, in fact, when I launched the real estate mentor program, the first per success story was, well the first two, one was in Texas, he made 25,000 in his first deal. He did a wholesaling deal. And then a guy out of Sweden, did a fl he flipped a property and sent me a picture of a $75,000 check. That was the, his, his cut from the deal. And last year he made even more. He's been in the program for like two years. He made 200 grand, I think in the second year. And that's in, not in the US. Ty, can you tell us some ways to make money? Yes. I've been talking about them here. You might've got here late. Shopping centers are all about the experience here in Australia now. They're all fancy and stuff and adapting to change. Yeah, but I, I don't know that that model is gonna work perfectly. I mean, yes and no. For women, maybe. Men like to shop less. That's a, I know that's a stereotype, but it generally is true. Um, and so, yes and no. I don't know that that will save the economics of these stores. Stores have been trying to make them. I think people are gonna go to stores for stuff that you don't wanna buy online because you wanna try it. Like a car, you might wanna test drive a car, but Tesla's, isn't Tesla Ben mostly moving to online sales of their cars? So, I mean, even that is going away. Ty, do you have a book suggested for absorbing knowledge about real estate law? Ta. The thing about real estate law is it changes Depends what country you're in. I don't even know where you are. I don't know what city you're in. I mean, what state you're in. Gina M. Barrick said, Ty, I made 500 grand my first year. How do I make more? Gina, what did you make 500 grand in? How do you go out reaching out to the coconut company? I wouldn't reach out to them. I'd build my own, you know? Somebody said California, James Social. I'm not laughing. I'm just saying it. That's a big question. Real estate law, I'd probably get a textbook. That's what I would do. Tesla can't even have a dealership in Michigan. They can't, it's like against the law. They passed a law. Ty, hypothetically, if I were to purchase all four of your training programs, would Mentor in a Box be necessary? You mean Mentor Box? That's a different company that I own. That's a different thing. That's more about reading books on a day-to-day -day basis. It's unrelated to what we're talking about. They passed a law in Michigan that Tesla can't be, have a dealership? What? Let me look this up. Tesla, Michigan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call up Tesla. Uh, yes, I live in uh, Detroit. I'd like to uh, come visit your dealership. There we go. Why is Tesla? The license was denied. Be oh, I'll tell you why. It's because all the big car manufacturers are up there and their buddies run the government. Guarantee you it's old, it's old crooked politics. It requires the dealer to have a bona fide contract with an auto manufacturer sells vehicle at the earth. I mean, dude, it's such a scam. <laughs> ah, Tesla, 
Really? You're going to make it so Detroit is all butt hurt that another company came out? Tesla Motors bring... Oh, yeah. Tesla's suing them. Good. They should. Good. These old companies, they're going to just try to win by, like, suing... Uh, like, passing crooked laws. That is bad. Five minutes. Four and a half. Word to mouth. Do you see a market crash coming? Yep, it already is happening in many places, you know? Ty, zivil.com, we are changing lives. By the way, those of you on Instagram, if it resets because it's been an hour, I still got how much? 400 to give away? 500. So come right back. Zivil.com. I'm going to go for about 10 more minutes. Zivil.com. Ben, you guys headed out? Okay. Who wants to zivil? Oh, this is a good website. It looks cool. Hi, welcome to zivil. How can we help you? You may want to, you know, this message, I've tried different ones on my website. I feel like you're such a like wild brand. You should have like a wild thing here to catch our attention. Like, hi, do you want a zivil or something? I don't know. Have you ever tried a dream pod? I don't even know what that is. Is this a spaceship? Are you in cahoots with SpaceX? Like, just put something unique here. Want a zivil? It's a very weird thing that, that says that there and that. You, you got to rename this. You don't want it to say zivil redefine health. Just put your brand. You already got your branding here. I wouldn't try to brand in my chat. I also, why does this, why is this here too? Chat with Ziv will redefine health in Messenger. I know it's like some kind of, it's like a Facebook, you know, chat bot kind of thing, but I don't know. Your phone number is call us worldwide, call us now, 833zivil.com. You always make, that's not, that's gotta be clickable. Nobody wants, nobody have time to type out Zivil zero zero. So that's a real simple change. Um, again, you need a video here because it's a very complicated, I do not know. Let's say I'm really busy. Busy people don't scroll down. They're not going to find out what this is. Apparently, as I scroll down, it's a flotation chart. You need some movement. Like Rolex has like movement at least. I would not do this, whatever this is. Don't do this. No, but you're not going to get any followers from that. Just mark my words. In your life, you've gotten one follower from that. Let me just click. I promise you. And it's not clickable. Wait, why do you have this here? On the internet, you want things that people can click them. Yeah. Whoever built his website, you should ask him for some money back. It's not clickable. Am I doing something wrong? Why would you have things that you can't click on? Do you expect people to type out Zivil underscore official. Don't put underscores in your thing either. Um, hold on one second. Yeah, go ahead and reset. I'll see. We're resetting. Alma, where's Alma? Can you go to the gate? Yeah, so this website needs a lot of help. But it, it looks cool at the top. That's the good news. I'm not. Okay, here. Oh. Yeah. Did you know that this opens up your Instagram when I click the new location? So there is a way to find your Instagram. It's when I click on your new location in Nashville. That doesn't make any sense. So good idea. The execution's a little crazy. Whoever did this for you. Uh, you definitely need, yeah. Everybody here needs to learn how to analyze websites. Trust me. By the way, this is a whole business you can do that I'm going to eventually teach people how to do. You can walk in and do consulting for businesses and get paid like easily a thousand bucks per customer just to do this for them. What I'm doing right now in five minutes. Because people always have bizarre websites, really bad websites. This one looks good, that's the good news, but also I'm never a fan of like blog, like blog. Do people really read your blog? I just, I bet you no one reads this. Not to be mean, but I just, 
maybe here like how to float but why would you put that on the blog this is like very like 10 years ago this was a genius idea but what made you money 10 years ago don't make, does not make you money right now so this is a problem this, this blog and why does the blog have to be like almost a separate part of the page? Now let's look at your About Us page. I don't know what's up with the, the animate. Okay, Dr. Matthew Neal, very intelligent, has a PhD. Great. Brian Headwelch is your name? Oh, he was co-founder of the band Korn. Nice, sold 40 million albums. Man, you might wanna put that earlier in. Most people don't go to this page. Trust me, very few people go to your, if you look in your Google Analytics, not many people are going to this page. So if you have a brand reputational advantage because you've got a PhD, why don't you put yourself a little earlier in there? Just a thought. And I really think you should have a video, you know, talking about you guys. So it, it's, it, I've seen a lot of worse sites um, and I've seen better ones, which is fine. This needs to be a video. The one missing thing here, I mean, trust me, nobody knows, and you can't say we have the video on the other page. People don't go to the other page. And none of this that I see here is more important than a video. Like at least put right here, watch how it works or something. You know, do you guys agree with me? Someone said, is this like a roasting video? Well, do you consider this roasting? This is not roasting. This is what I call constructive criticism. You know what I mean? So I like the fact that you teach things for, that we don't know including eyes on the front page. Yeah, I would put some eyes. I mean, you kind of had it. I would definitely have a person standing, getting in the pod or something. Definitely. Um, what else? I'll do one or more, uh, one or two more. Did you get my resume envelope? No. Did you send it to me? Fazizzle my nizzle. That's what somebody wrote about this name. Fazivel my nivel. All right, Ty, I'm from Ohio. We have farmers that need websites made. Good. How do you find clients to give them consulting? Easy, you walk around where you live, you go to local stores, you find places you're already buying. Ty, I'm making 150 grand a month on Amazon because of you, been trying to get in touch with you. Cool. Dennis Toman. Denny's Toman, reach out to me, man. Uh, yeah. Denny's Toman doing 150 grand. That's cool. I like success stories. Here's the, you said you're doing, you made 150,000, ginamber.com. My fish are being fed in the background there. Okay. Can you guys tell, is Alma around? People are liking these, these chat bots these days. Okay. What is this product? Once again, what is this thing? Is this like how do you shave your legs or something? Oh no. Serum of absorption, wrinkles. Again, needs a video. I'm gonna tell you what you don't need on this website. That, whatever that is, trust me, it is not helpful. You might think it's helpful. You might think it's decorative. Um, you know, yeah. But it doesn't help. Okay. Tech my what? iMessage? Where is she though? Upstairs. 
time at school in England, I'm making 50 grand a year through Amazon because of you. Cool. How can I make my house keep grow? I think you gotta use a different Google Translate, whoever did that. Somebody said, Ty. Yeah, this site, again, I don't know what I'm getting. Just make it pretty, pretty, pretty darn here. So you have your video here. Yes, how are you doing? Today, actually, I'm going to do a video, guys, how I do dermal rolling for my lips, around my lips. I love skincare. I have my own brand dermal roller, which is medical grade, real needle dermal roller, individual needles, not metal wheels. Like most of the rollers on the market, they have like metal wheels. Uh, I have actually like real individual um, needles. If you guys would know the like, difference between dermal rollers, I can link down below a video where you can watch and I explain in details what's the difference between metal wheel dermal roller and real needle dermal roller. So now I'm going to be using dermal roller for my lips, guys. And I'm so excited because I have never done this video and I got a lot of requests. Like because people know I'm doing dermal rolling on my lips, but I never ever show how I do dermal rolling on my lips. Now why dermal rolling is good for your skin? Basically, dermal roller is induction tool again. In yeah, okay. It's fine. I would add subtitles. Whenever you have an accent, especially if you're selling to America, Americans are weird about accents, but I would change the design because you got like, this is called the God Spot. It's like very good space and it's like wasted. And yeah. All right. Let me give this $500 away. Who wants 500 bucks? I'm just going to get, Rick, you cannot be in there. Oh, here's one more. I got to do bullet.it. Bullet it. B-U-L-L-E-T dot I-T. Wait, what is it? B-U-L-L-E-T. Isn't that what I have up there? No, I see. Oh, I thought you had one L. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, that's not a good website right there. Maybe it's L-T. Oh, it might be. Yeah, that's also not good. Dot LT? No. The Cruising Kiwis on YouTube sailing vlog. Moving is in our DNA.com. I got to see one more. Moving is in our DNA.com. DNA movers. Mover in ill. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. Dude, you might as well start over on this one. First of all, what is this? Do you, do you want to have a car? Is this a car crash picture? Do you know what that is, Zach? Looks like someone peed on the asphalt. I think it's like Forrest Gump behind the scenes photo. Forrest Gump. Yeah, this, this website, you just might as well start from scratch. Um, also, you probably want to have decent, I like, you don't need grammar to make money, but you probably don't want to have like caveman grammar. Me, mover, in, ill. You didn't want to type out Illinois? Was that too many? Not to roast people, but mover, in, ill. I'm going to start talking like that to people. When people want to buy something from me, like, yo, Ty, why should I buy your program? Buy, program, mine. <laughs> I don't even know, don't know what this is. So yeah, it's good that you have a call number. You did that right. It opens FaceTime. Okay. You might just want to put like a, I don't know if people want to FaceTime with their movers. This site uses cookies in Google. About us. You might want to have your name. Yeah, this one, you're not going to, this isn't going to help you. It might hurt you. So it'd be better to actually not have a website. Sometimes you shouldn't have a website, you know. I'm going to try to, can I open I'm going to try to FaceTime. Let's see if anybody answered. Click call to make this call. Here we go. Oh, wait, it's using somebody's phone. Whose phone is it using? I'm going to call this person. Ah, uh, yes. I live in Ill. I need a move. Me need move. I'm going to call Sergey Brin from Google. 
And somebody goes, who are you calling? I don't know. It had a call button on there, man. Okay. Let's give this money away. Dun-dun. Disha just wrote, ha, ha, ha. Ty, I'm 120 years old. How do I die already? <laughs> you have, do the MoMA challenge. What was that big controversy? There was like MoMA weird things. Did you do the MoMA challenge, Rick? Uh, no. no? You're not big on that? Okay, I better not laugh about that. Somebody will have outrage. Oh, sorry, MoMO. Ty, social media marketing agency for begin is, is more prudent to start niche or accept all types of clients. I mean, you could start, it's better to start niche. Yeah. Ty, does becoming rich cure sadness and regret and bitterness? No. I mean, me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Momo is a chicken. Stick with the script. How many countries? This person's still back on my country giveaway. He's like, would you answer? He's been waiting patiently. That was like 45 minutes ago. We said, uh, <laughs> he had to go to the bathroom. He came back. Would you stick with the pro? I, I want to win. You've been rambling. You've been rambling You're for 45 minutes. <laughs> You're cranking it wrong. The answer was 197. Ty, I need those 500 to invest on pops. Ha ha, quick flip. Like, does that mean you're gonna flip real estate or like to invest in your dad? Is that what you mean by pops? I don't even know what that means. Time 14, how can I make money? There are riches in niches, somebody said. Ty, there are 206 countries, not 197. I don't know, there's different, have you been to all of them? I don't know, do you know the answer? How many, Rick, can you count, can you name 10 countries in Africa right now for a hundred dollars okay i usually don't give away to my staff hundred dollars right now let's go uh, libya, morocco, libya morocco egypt egypt Djibouti, Djibouti. Ethiopia. ethiopia south africa south africa uh, don't be helping zach niger, niger. That's uh, not chad chad No, that, that's eight. Uh, Zach's already trying to, okay. Come on, Rick. You got 10 seconds left. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Of, Congo? of Condo? Republic of Condo? Is Republic Condo, didn't they change the name? All right, I'm going to give you that. Nine? Um, don't be looking on the screen. Oh, no, Rick's cheating. He's cheating. He's look. Don't help him. Ivory Coast? Man, I think that I think one of them. Give me one more, because I think I thought you. I thought Republic of Congo changed name. Um, Zach, you don't know how to count. Oh gosh. You got more than answers? Huh? You got more than answers? I'm trying to think of one in the middle. It's escaping me. Uh, All right, should I give Rick the hundred dollars? Give him ninety. Somebody said Etretia and spelled it wrong. All right. I'll give you ninety. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you ninety bucks. <laughs> 90 bucks. Democratic, it's Democratic Republic of Congo. Mozambique, I think that used to be Zaire. Mozambique used to no, be Zaire. Sure. Madagascar. Oh, yeah. What about Tunisia? What about Algeria? Did you say Egypt? I did. What about Liberia? I, I didn't say Liberia. Liberia is a famous one. I said Libya. But no, but Liberia and Libya is in a different part. What about Liberia. Senegal? What's some other ones? Yeah. Zaire. Sudan. Magua? What the hell? Is, that's Mowgli? That's from the Jungle Book, Zach. That's the wrong. That's India. Okay, we got $500 to give to one person who answers this question who's been paying. Somebody said Wakanda from Black Panther. $500 to one. Kenya. You forgot Kenya. Rick, where'd you go to high school, man? Here we go, right here. The question is, what was one of the first things that I said? 
was one of the first things. I'm going to go back here. People have been paying attention. Um, yeah. Who can name the four foundations that I talked about of wealth in exact order? Now, this is going to go fast. This is for $500. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to give everybody a chance. You guys tell me when to go or not go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Rick's mad because he didn't get that whole $100. <laughs> oh, okay. Tell me when. All right. Tell me which one to do. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. Just tell me when to stop. My you finger is at. Stop. Twitter. Whoa, it's on Twitter. Twitter never gets a chance. Twitter. What are the four? But Twitter, you got 10 seconds because Twitter is so slow. Somebody just wrote Tesla is expensive. This person. Um, health, wealth, love, happiness. Nope. Social media marketing. No, that's not right. Zach, they did the last one's wrong. They said, nope. Here we go. I see it. No, it, no is trite. That's it. No is trite. Social media, e-com, real estate, credit. What's up? No is trite. I'm sending you 500 bucks. Now, can you reply back with your cash app? No is right. Please. So like... I don't have to hunt you down and people won't be like, did you ever get the money? You got 10 seconds to reply. No, did he reply? Not yet. Well, I'll give you like two minutes actually. Who's going in the program? You got seven days to get in. Spring special, four best mentor programs. Vishnu Vianak, Christopher Lopez. I wonder if that's the guy that I know. Sharam Ali, welcome to the group, my friend, in Fresno, California. He got all four programs. Did he give his? All right, I might have to pick another winner here. That would suck. This guy find out he won and then he forgot. How are you going to win and then not Here stay on there? Did he give it? Yep. What is it? Stefan Shearer with the money sign. Okay, your cash app. You got, you got a picture of it, Zach? Yeah. All right. I'm out. Ty, can you give a horse away? I, do, I got 13 horses. I'm definitely not going to give a horse away. That would be weird. How would you ship a horse? Rick, I have a question for you. Would you rather win $100 cash or a horse? Yeah, you personally. Well, I could sell a horse, no problem. Yeah, but if you have pain in the butt, you'd have to, you'd have to get that, uh, the horse delivered to you in Hollywood. <laughs> and ride it around. Town. Ride it, yeah. Okay, I want to do, do, let's just ask a question. Poll. For you, Zach. Um, Logan Paul asked me this the other day when I was on his show. On, what was it thing, Monday? He goes, would you rather be Smiling in a Toyota or weeping in a Lamborghini? Smiling in a Toyota. Smiling in a Toyota. Choose happiness over material wealth. But my thing is maybe you're just weeping for joy. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> you might be, yeah, yeah. That question was easy. <laughs> um, let me give you a second question, Zach. Would you for... No, I'm not going to do that one that I once told you about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, <laughs> not with your family Is watching. Barstool one? Barstool the Barstool one with Dennis Rodman? No, God, no, those are horrible. Oh, that's man, the, yes. If your wife, I mean, if your mother. And your yeah, that's that. I'm not going to say that on here. <laughs> Let me just do a simple one. Would you rather, would you for $10,000, $10,000, slap a policeman in the face? Remember, after you did it, you could plead. You could be like, oh, I thought you were my friend dressed up for Halloween. You could say, you don't have to stick with it, but you have to walk up to him and slap. Would oh, you? Uh, yeah, if I could get away with that excuse. Actually. No, but I don't know if you could get away with it because there's some cops out there who will beat you into a pulp for doing that. Uh, if I had my buddy filming it. If he was filming it. Yes, yes. Secretly. Yeah, yeah. 
Hundred oh, thousand. You would do it for ten thousand? The cop didn't know I was filming it. I don't know. Hundred thousand. No, I respect law enforcement. You respect law enforcement. Okay. Would you jump over the White House <laughs> fence and run for it for a million bucks? Uh, Just know they can release uh, dogs. They can shoot you. Yeah, no. You that's a million. A record, man. That's that's permanent record. But that's not going to keep you from getting a job. If I'm looking through a resume. <laughs> okay. Pros. This guy's smart, he knows video. Cons, once tried to bum rush the White House. A lot of people are like, hell yeah. Now if you do it, don't say, well you got that idea from me. I am not advocating it. Zach was advocating it. I was debating it. He was debating it. All right, well. Yeah, I think they'll put a bullet in you if you do that. Well, they were, that one dude that did it, they did it. They took him down with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> they released like six dogs on the guy. I'm being a cash when you hand me the check for a million dollars. Yeah, but a million. You being a. Would you take that dog beat down for a million bucks? No, that's that's like asking me, will you just stand there and let a dog attack you for a million dollars? Yeah, would you? No. For a million bucks, you might be able to fight it off. No, I'm not gonna. Who do here that. would be attacked? It depends on the dog. Well, if it's, little if it's dog. Chihuahuas. Yeah, yeah. I'll drop. What? It, okay. Would you rather be attacked? <laughs> Last one. 600 trained attack chihuahuas. 600? 600. An unending amount, but you could theoretically kick them one by one. Or one pit bull. Uh, pit bull, because I, I, could, I could... You take the pit, you think you could fight off a pit bull, Zach? If I could get it Zach is over here going, he thinks he, you could not get a pit bull. You could not get a pit bull by the throat. I would definitely take 600 chihuahuas. Because I can kick 600 times. <laughs> I can see. I would want to film. No, no, they come one at a time, but 600 of them. God, I'd get tired. But if you get a little bit behind, one grabs you. You just see Zach slowly getting taken down by teacup, little, little hands sticking up. Uh, all right, I got to go. Someone said build a wall with chihuahuas in Chihuahua. Okay. Somebody say, where the hell are you going to get 600 chihuahuas? Where, there's 600 chihuahuas in the world. There's uh, seven days left. I'll see you guys inside. All right. <laughs> <laughs>